Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. It's presented by the Navy Federal Credit Union. Time to shine the light on Navy women's lacrosse with Lindsay Beardmore. Lindsay, for your team right now, what a terrific run you all have been able uh, to put together here. Back-to-back -back wins against ranked teams, but maybe a little bit of a maturity check from a team standpoint on Saturday. You guys jumped right out 7-0 uh, in, in the opening quarter. Thoughts on the way you all handled your business on Saturday after two incredibly emotional wins. Yeah, Saturday was definitely a big deal for us. We were starting the Patriot League. We knew going into it, we were back to 0-0 zero, zero at the Patriot League. It was kind of a little bit of a gear switch for us to realize that this is conference play and it's going to get serious and it's anybody's game when we step out on the field. But like you said, when we jumped out to that start, it really set the tone for the entire game and we just kind of went up from there. Why are you guys achieving so much balance right now on offense? I think a lot of it has to do with, as everybody knows, Reagan was out for a little bit and she honestly is a complete game changer. She had six points against Bucknell and just kind of her leadership between her and all of the seniors really just made us go out hard and we kind of did it for each other. This is a, an institution that, you know, praises leadership. It teaches leadership. It wants people uh, to lead you know, does that surprise you that the seniors, just like senior classes of the past, are saying, hey, we'll take the responsibility, uh, we'll get everybody going and, and try to point everybody in the right direction here? It's definitely not a surprise. These girls are all very strong women and kind of the cohesive unit that they have formed within their class has kind of pushed off onto the rest of us to want to be more like them, where they're involved on the yard within their companies, getting billets and helping out with everybody in any way that they can. And they're willing to do that. They start it in the classroom and in Bancroft Hall, and then they bring it out on the field. And then they treat all of us like their sisters. And it's that sisterhood that we have that really just helps us become so successful. You're incredibly active, obviously, in the high school and in other activities outside of uh, lacrosse and field hockey. Is that something that made the Naval Academy so appealing to you, just the fact that you don't seem to mind leading in, in other areas. And obviously this is an institution that will help you do that even more. Definitely not. Um, I mean, sometimes it's a little bit ambitious seeing everything and kind of what's expected, but I kind of like having those expectations and all of the opportunities that are here. Uh, in high school, I was a part of a bunch of different service groups and just serving other people, whether it was like for the less fortunate or anybody within my community. So this was kind of like the place to really just put it all together. What, uh, I guess, the, the, what helped you develop that sense of unselfishness, uh, you know, growing up to where, you know, you have been so, uh, you know, very, you know, willing with your time to give to others? I think a big part of it comes from my household and my family. Um, my grandparents had sponsored midshipmen. My grandfather served in the army. So it was kind of just wanting to follow in that tradition and uphold those standards for looking out for others before myself. Obviously a terrific lineage of lacrosse in your family. Did field hockey ever stand a chance or was it always gonna be lacrosse? I think for a minute, it was a little bit appealing. Field hockey is kind of like my time to go out there and have fun with my friends. And at Spalding in high school, our field hockey team was a lot of our lacrosse friends. So it was just something that we could do to kind of let our lacrosse sticks rest for a little bit and go out and get a different look on the field that kind of just helped us all work together. Take me back to the moment against Hopkins because very few players get to be in that moment to do something like that. What was that like to elevate your team in that situation? Honestly, the pressure was a lot and my brain was going so many different places, but the between the cheering on the bench, between seeing my teammates on the sidelines, all the fans and our families up in the stands, I just kind of knew that I had to put this one away to please them and to really put our team on top. When you're in a moment like that, it, and you don't really have a ton of time to think. I mean, sometimes the referees do take a little while to line everybody up and, you know, you may get a few extra seconds, but what's the key to finishing in a situation like that? And, and do you have a set game plan each time you get an opportunity like that, or does it change from time to time? For the most part, it's the same. You kind of just have to look at the net and then hit the net. And I honestly attribute a lot of that to the goalies. Uh, our goalies on our team really get us ready in practice having joe when she's on our side it's kind of annoying when we're playing against her but definitely when she when she is in that cage for the other team it's really nice 
So I think she really just prepares us for what's going to come on the field. And that really worked out for us. Hey, you let me into my next question. She had in the third quarter the other day, she really had some saves that really kept Bucknell from really having a chance to feel like they were uh, getting back in the game. When you have a goalie that does things and you've seen all of your goalies do this so far in some game competition this year, how much does that inspire you all out on the field, knowing that you have the confidence that your keeper is going to be back there and has the opportunity to really be a great defender herself? It definitely does give us confidence when she'll clear the ball and then make she makes that great save, hits our defenders between Grace or Alexis, then they get the clear up to us on the attack, and we just know that we have to put it away for them because they've been working so hard, and it's kind of we kind of give it back to each other to support one another. You guys, obviously, with a, a great opportunity uh, against another good team coming up uh, on Wednesday and then back into league play after that. What's what's the key to keeping this momentum going that you all have developed here right now? Yeah, this week is definitely a big week for us. Georgetown is definitely going to give us a good game and then Lehigh right around the corner. But I think a big part of it is just remembering um, that we're doing it for each other and kind of not looking at it as so much of selfish play, but like being able to work with one another and make each other look good is something that has really been beneficial for us, whether it's going in, getting an assist or Reagan winning those draws and then giving it up, getting a goal in five seconds with Charlotte Ryan or something like that. Those big plays really just work out really well for us. I was going to say, you played obviously at a high level at Spalding too. As a player, can you sense when there is some selfishness, you know, in other places on the team or with a individual and then you all as a team can kind of get together and and try to eliminate some of that or does does winning do that alone when everybody sees the type of balance you've had in these uh three wins now uh that you you've had in, in the last three games uh definitely when there is a little bit of some selfishness that comes about uh it's kind of a little bit of a setback, but I think especially at this level, we're all mature enough to be able to handle it together and lead one another and be like, we're doing this for each other rather than ourselves and kind of reminding one another of that and then being able to move on from there. How much did that Spalding experience prepare you for what you're doing now, obviously, uh, at the Naval Academy and playing Division One lacrosse? It was super helpful uh, playing in the IAAM. Everything was super fast. Most of those girls I'm still playing against, especially on a team like Lehigh where they're defenders I went to high school with. It's kind of funny seeing them from being on my side and being on my team to now being able to play against them. But we definitely have developed one another. I was going to say, it's probably odd to look at them in a little brown and white uh, at this point after seeing that red and white for so many years. Lindsay, appreciate so much of your time. Appreciate you uh, joining us today and best of luck with the rest of the season. Thank you.